it's a bit wobbly. That would be, the, oh gosh, it really is, isn't it? That's the tripod. We're using a new tripod because the other one is buggered. I'll buy a new one, honest. Yeah, well, it'll do for now, I reckon. Hello, how are you doing? Just going to have to keep my hands off the table. We're doing something ever so slightly different today because I decided, whilst randomly going around, to pop into a charity shop with a £20 note. And I brought £20 worth of crap. Well, not quite £20, but you know. And I thought I'd start doing this just as a random sort of mini-series that I'm doing, just because why the hell not? Probably because it's got a wobbly camera. Oh, I really hope you don't get sick off this, Jesus. That'd be terrible. But this bag of stuff has been sitting here for a little while. And I want to get through it so I can... Um, oh, yeah, that's not a giveaway. So I can tidy it up, basically, because my house is a mess. So, yes, I spent about £18 in the charity shop and have various objects and bits and pieces, which we're now going to go through on camera. Ooh. So we'll start with the obvious one because it's just there. Oh, wait, no, not that. Oh, everything's falling apart because the table is full of crap. It's a bit hard to fit on, obviously. It's a Hot Wheels Holds 48 Cars car box with big ones in the middle. Yes, it is literally just here to put toy cars in because I have a lot of toy cars and they're all in um, sort of a box here that's not very well organised. But with this, you can just sort of slip them in and the jobs are good and so we're just going to, yes, put them all in here. And it would appear that they all fit and it's all great and... Ugh, that one's seen better days, hasn't it? Yeah! I didn't think we'd have to look at this one again. I thought I burnt it. There we go. All full of many, many, many toy cars. Some of them absolutely fantastic, the standard. And some of them absolutely bloody god awful. Yes, that face is appropriate. But they all fit in and it does exactly what it says. It's a box for toy cars. Now, then the lid, uh, ooh, yep, it's got a clippy on the side here. That's not too bad. Come on. I, I did actually buy this for myself as well, and it cost a grand total of one ninety nine. So, yes, that's the first thing, and we've got through all the toy cars here, which is excellent. Well, not all of them. I still have some in the box. So let's grab the next thing, which is going to be this. It's a Matchbox Pirelli Gripping Stuff Volvo LKW MB26 in packaging for the grand total of two ninety nine. And look, it advertises that you can go with one of some of those sets. I've got some of these sets, actually. I've got some of the 90s ones, and I've got one of the 80s ones, and they're upstairs, and I need to go through them. And whilst I was doing the Matchbox cars, I found other things that I need to go through that I purposely brought to do on YouTube and just never did, and it's really annoying because they're part of my childhood, and I just haven't done them. And they're really bloody hard to find these days as well. But that's irregardless. As you can see, it was two ninety nine. I don't know how well this will peel off. Sometimes labels from charity shops come off really easy. Sometimes they don't. Thankfully, that one comes off very easily. So yeah, two nights. Ah, there we go. 1991. So it wasn't 80s. It was very early 90s. But yeah, this is my favourite kind of packaging, and it actually suits with um, the other Matchbox lorry. I got it there, the Porsche Transporter brand Transporter, which I've reviewed before. It'll be on the channel somewhere. Uh, but that's nice. I like that. It's pretty. It's a Volvo, and I'm not opening it. So that was a good one. I'm going to go put that over there. A lot of the things basically a matchbox. Uh, so bring up the other matchbox, or one of the other ones, which is also a Pirelli Special Collector's Model, an MB72 delivery truck in slightly less better condition. But, you know, we can get this one out and actually have a look at it because the condition is a bit naff. I mean, you know, it started to yellow on the boxing and stuff. Oh, incidentally, this one was also... Two ninety nine. I suppose I should pull these off. And this is 1981, though, so this is 10 years older than the other one, which I suppose would explain why the condition is so terrible. And yes, I will be keeping the boxes because I am rather a fan of these Matchbox-style boxes. It's a shame this is broken, but you know, what can you do? Uh, this has one of my favourite features in most toy cars and vehicles, which is where the doors open so you can put mud and dirt and other things in it. But... Pidge, I'm trying to YouTube. Yeah, it's a pretty standard uh, Matchbox toy from the 80s, really. Uh, I think this was before Mattel owned them, so, yeah, nothing wrong with it. Certainly goes well. You know, it's not got Volvo written on the front like the other one has. But it was also 2 dollars and it's a nice thing. I'm quite pleased with it. Uh, and it will also probably go on the shelf of collecting things because, you know, I, I like 
Matchbox. Okay, don't, don't judge me. I've got a lot of Matchboxes, don't judge me. What's the next thing? There's only one more toy car in here and we'll leave it for a little bit because I know I paid too much for that one. Ah, here we go. If you've been to England, you will have seen these. These are just as they appear to be wooden weapons with nice braiding. I own a sword which I spray painted silver and a shield which um, I found on eBay which is actually really nice but not by the same brand. They're great for just cosplay or costumes or even just having sword fights with your mates. So now if I ever have a sword fight with the mates I don't own, don't own, don't have, don't own, then uh, I, when he disarms me I can stab him with my, with my dagger of death. And uh, you know, they're hard wood as well, it's not soft wood. Uh, I thought about doing some wood burning on it as well because that would be fun. But yeah, that was 99 pence. That was uh, enjoyable. Um, ba -da -ba, we're coming out to the end of things actually. There's only two things left in the bag because you don't get much in charity shop for 20 quid. But here we go, here we go. It's a cap gun. <laughs> and it spins really fast like a rail gun. Got a railgun, the enemies. For the grand total of 159. Very nice little thing. Yeah, it's a standard eight cap gun shooter. If you've never seen a cap gun before, well, you put these things inside them and then they go bang. Although this one seems to be a bit faulty. It's got a plastic handle, but the bodywork is metal with the standard orange cap, which you can take out and then it actually looks pretty legit. It's quite small. Um, I used to have loads of these as a kid, although I tended to get actual pistols rather than revolvers. Um, so I'm well versed in the combat of these. These are caps. Awkward to use. These are cheap ones, as far as I can tell. I ordered them specifically. And as you can see, bits are missing, but uh, it's got tiny pieces of god, god gunpowder in there. You place them in here, and when you fire, it should... Should. It did it once. This is what I mean when I say faulty. It could be the caps, it could be the gun, but something's not quite right there. These uh, these guns are great though. I can't fucking get it out now. Oh, I swore on YouTube. Come on. Yeah. Anyway, nice cap gun for this friend. And you can get some very, very nice cap guns as well, like this one, which I can't fit the whole thing in. But I brought this because it's really nice. I didn't buy it from the charity shop, obviously. And yes, it is a cap gun, as I discovered later. It takes um, these long rows, of which I haven't actually got one ready, because I'm bad at this. Uh, these caps are, as far as I can tell, of a much higher quality than the other ones, so they should go off every time if I can load the bloody gum. Ugh. You can kind of shove them all in there. So obviously it's a Winchester rifle. Put the little clip in there. Load it and it should just... Uh, load, shot, load, shot. And it does eject the... Uh, bit as you come along, oh, that one didn't fire. As you can see, they all come out the top as well. And they smoke, and they have this fantastic smell, and they're just they're just generally great. Now, if I can just withdraw this, we'll just fire them off because they're coming through. Also, you can see there is emotion here as well, which is just great. But another thing I used to do, um, are they fired? I think they're fired. Huh, it would appear that I've actually gone through all of them already. Scary. Another thing we used to do as kids, because we were mad as fish was to get these singular ones and literally pull a single one. They never got caps very often, but it was something I used to do with friends. Get a single cap with a round revolver like this. Didn't necessarily have to be a revolver. Figure out how to get these bloody things out. Ugh. They almost had it there as well. Yes. Yes. Come on. Come on, come on. This was a really awkward thing to do when you were fighting imaginary enemies. Load up the singular cap, which, uh, again, wasn't normally one of these. It was normally one of the other ones that I separated, but I just happened to have these in singles. And then just play Russian roulette. This one. But as you can see, it's got stuck. So you just keep going until some poor bastard 
gets their head blown off. Which isn't happening today. Screw you, Caps. I don't like you. Dick. And I'll probably just mark the table with it as well. Oh, oh. Ah. No, you lose everything. You're awful. But it does bring us on to our last item and a receipt, which we can look at. Ooh, an old Matchbox box, which unfortunately is not the correct box from the research I've done, and I paid far too much for this. 1993 Matchbox International. We have, ooh, look at that. And there were a couple of um, Ford T-Class trucks, but I didn't buy them because I'm not interested. This, look at this thing. This is a Jaguar, the SS100 Jaguar from 1982. 1983, 1982, 1983, 1982. I paid 8 dollars for this. They're on eBay for like a fiver. But to be fair, it's a very nice condition model. Everything's there. There's no scratches. It is genuinely, as you would expect to find, pretty much out the box. Pretty much. Just be very, very minor things. But other than that, nice toy car. You know, I prefer the trucks that we've got, to be fair. But um, obviously, I will be keeping this because, hey, I like this. And can we get this off here without breaking it? Oh, this is going to be trickier because it's not so much of a rigid structure, if that makes sense. Some charity shops use awful labels you just cannot peel off. And some use fantastic labels you can. It's the same with game boxes. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Matchbox is trademark of Matchbox Group or companies and is the subject of extensive trademark registration. Master Registeria. 1983 Matchbox International Limited. All rights reserved. Hmm. 47. Oh. It is the right box. That's weird. I honestly didn't think this was the right box. Huh. Hope I've actually looked at it. Right, well, in that case, it might actually be worth the eight ninety nine I paid for it then. But yeah. So that is the collection of everything that I acquired from the charity shop for this ROM. Um, and I quite enjoyed doing it. Let's just quickly nab this. I said it's... Uh, you don't want to look at that one because that's a Subway receipt. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> there we go, just cover these bits up because uh, you don't want to see that. Toys, 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 toys. 19.54. There we go, that's how much all that cost. But you know what? It was worth it because I got a YouTube video out of it. Oh, there you go. You, you know exactly where I was now for it. I don't live there, I was just visiting. Am I going to have to do this whole video again? No, I trust the people of YouTube not to screw me over.